auditory space is a very peculiar thing, and we live in Echo Land now. In a simultaneous, instantaneous, all at once electric world, you, that is Echo Land. It is a perfect sphere whose center is everywhere and whose margin is nowhere. It is totally non visual and non visualizable. simultaneous world where most of the relationships between men are now invisible. The human bond, the electric instant bond around the planet, is invisible, which is not unlike the things we're talking about in relation to the mystical body, which is entirely around us and entirely invisible. For example, we were talking about the telephone. When you go on the telephone, you are transformed. You become instantly available. You can talk to Tokyo and to Chicago and to New York simultaneous. And this gives you a sort of dimension of an angel, an almost a, a preternatural being, a disembodied spirit. In the electric age, man becomes a kind of disembodied spirit. I don't think our institutions have any way of coping with this new dimension of man. Angelic, discarnate man of the electric age, who is always in the presence of all the other men in the world. People used to think it was the message that was sent, but now it's the sender. Angelic, discarnate man of the electric age. As with the printing press, if it's really a revolution, it doesn't take us from point A to point B. It takes us from point A to chaos. I don't think our institutions have any way of coping with angelic, discarnate man of the electric age. Each of us has a computer, they're not radically different from routers inside the middle of the network. And computation, storage, and communications capacity are in the hands of practically every connected person. And these are the basic physical capital means necessary for producing information, knowledge, and culture. In the hands of something like 600 million to a billion people around the planet. The basic means necessary for producing information When people are offered the possibility to produce and to share, they'll take you up on that offer. Let's say that everything stays 99% the same. The people watch 99% as much television as they used to, but 1% of that is carved out for producing and for sharing. For producing information, knowledge, and culture. Even a small change of billion people could have huge rims. The internet-connected population watches roughly a trillion hours of TV a year. A billion people. That is 10,000 Wikipedia projects a year worth of participation. Information, knowledge, and culture. A trillion hours of TV a year. 10,000 Wikipedia projects a year. The basic means necessary for producing information, knowledge, and culture are in the hands of a billion people around the planet. When people are offered the possibility to produce and to share, they'll take you up on that offer. trillion hours of TV a year, 10,000 Wikipedia projects a year. As with the printing press, if it's really a revolution, it doesn't take us from point A to point B. 
speed. It takes us from point A to chaos, right? The printing press precipitated 200 years of chaos. I don't think our institutions have any way of coping with angelic, discarnate man of the electric age. Now, I'm not predicting 200 years of chaos as a result of this. 50. 50 years in which loosely coordinated groups are going to be given increasingly high leverage and institutions are going to come under an increasing degree of pressure and the more rigidly managed and the more they rely on information monopolies the greater the pressure is going to be this is very very significant the monopoly on knowledge is over there is no longer the kind of institutional gatekeeping that has prevented people from getting access to particular minds and to particular bodies of, of knowledge and information. This is very, very significant. And so the point here is not, this is wonderful. The point is that it's going to be a massive readjustment. And since we can see it in advance and know it's coming, my argument is essentially, we might as well get good at it. We live in an electric simultaneous world an ecological world is a world of echo land it's a world of simultaneous resonance in which people instinctively feel that everything affects everything auditory space is a very peculiar thing and we live in echo land now the basic means necessary in a simultaneous instantaneous all at once electric world you that is echo land for producing information knowledge and culture it is a perfect sphere whose center is everywhere and whose margin is nowhere are in the hands of a billion people it is totally non-visual and non-visualizable around the planet. In a simultaneous, instantaneous, all at once electric world, that is Echo Land. 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 Thank you.